Good morning. Welcome back to the Finca. Normal service has been resumed. The big um, yellow circle is back in the sky. Um, last night, apparently, after we'd left, the rain got heavier and we had 45 millimetres, um, which, true to our calculations, has put 4,500 litres into the uh, deposit here. So that's excellent news. Um, all the plants are great. We've just done a garden inspection. Everything's survived. So that's brilliant. Um, however, the weeds have gone crazy. I mean, they were bad before. Um, so I was going to be on the mezzanine today, um, but the garden really does need some attention. And I know it's about priorities, but all around the um, vegetable bed, it's just overgrown with weeds so I need to do some some weeding today um, and he's going to be back in the utility room um, finishing off in there well carrying on in there it's going to take a bit longer than that also this morning we dropped off the Finkermobile to our friend David who has a garage in the local town and um, normally Andy would do repairs himself but all his tools are up here the car was stuck down there um, and we really haven't got the time, so David's going to do it for us. Hopefully we get that back tonight. If you remember the other day, we had concerns when we got the, the warning about the rain because our internet people had been on the roof. Um, I really didn't want them to. It does, does take us. Tiles are so fragile and because they are old. Um, they do break so, so easily. I redid all of this roof for the apartment uh, last summer, painstakingly took every tile off, foamed it up, foamed them all and insulated it and put them all back, replacing any damaged ones and they were loads. Um, but fortunately, true to his word, he said he hadn't broken any and as you can see, it's still lovely and white with no water ingress at all. So that, we're happy with that. Um, I'm probably going to have a bit of a look at the floor today in it because there's a big dip in the middle. So I'm going to level that because we've only got a week left before we're moving in. Here I am in the garden. Um, just to show you what I was talking about. These are our brassicas, cauliflowers, broccoli. Look at this lot here. It's just taking over and uh, I can't bear it any longer. So I have got to spend a day in the garden and do some weeding. So we talked about this as well before, um, This the water comes down from the land and it hits that little bank there and runs in to this point here where allegedly a lot of the stuff settles out of it and then it goes through that hole where the pipe comes out and into the, the big deposit. As you can see there is water in there, it's collected about probably about a thousand litres as this generally only collects when um, we get really, really heavy rain and it was more steady than heavy yesterday. Now, we're gonna try and get this 72 kilos of fridge into there, where it's gonna live. Once that's done, it's there for permanent. That one permanent thing we've got down here. It's not gonna be an easy quest. They say it weighs 72 kilos. The fridge itself weighs 66. But the joys of having a character, characterful house, we've got this big characterist step here that it's got fallen over, that it's gotta come down. And then we get it to here, and then we've got this big characterist step here, we've gotta get it up again. And it's gonna be a fun, it's gonna be a laugh, that isn't it? Crikey. Right, it's in place. It's nearly as straight as our Wi-Fi antenna for the internet. Um, a bit of an epic struggle, but it's there. All we need to do now is pack it up a bit at the back um, and level it, get it somewhere. Then the door opens the wrong way as well. Typical, you, you know, you couldn't make it up. There's a 50% chance of that and it's wrong. So I'm going to have to, I assume you can, move the hinges over so the door will open the opposite way. So first of all, we'll get it leveled. It's in, finally, and it's level. It looks great, this is lovely. Um, the door's still opening that way, but I think it's gonna stay opening that way for a bit, because it's, it's just a mission to turn it round. And we can do that another time in the future. But no, it looks all right, it's dead level, it works with a washing machine. We're gonna leave it now, I think you've gotta leave them for something like, you know, 24 hours after you've moved them and tipped them before you plug them in. 
So we don't even know if it works yet, but we'll wait until tomorrow, then we'll plug it in. Then if it doesn't work, we'll have to pack it all back up and send it back. <laughs> it will work, we know it will. Cool, onwards and upwards. Right, I've had another brainstorm now. Um, when we put this worktop on here, I, we're going to put, I want legs on the front, obviously, to support it. And I'm going to use big chunky legs, same as this sort of thing here. So I'm going to move the washing machine over and then I'm probably going to have to re-level it again. Just so I don't have to do it in the future so I can fit a leg in here. Super. I have now moved the washing machine. To give you the idea, I've just stood an off cut um, of the the timber I used to build the, the loo wall within. I think that'll look really cool. Okay, I have the flue pipe in place. I've just taken some of the weight um, with a chain coming down from the ceiling. Um, the idea of this, and it's done quite often in Spain, is to, um, obviously your hot gases, your hot exhaust that's coming out of the thing, most of it gets lost up the chimney. So hopefully with this, we can recover some of it into the bedroom, which will give the bedroom some heating for free. Hopefully if we can draw enough heat of it out of it through here, um, it won't be too hot on the outside and therefore won't melt our Wi-Fi antenna, um, which they still haven't been back to move and they put right over the chimney flue. Um, it's not quite sticking out far enough on this side. Um, so I'm gonna, I've actually got an, an off cut, I've cut off the piece that goes through the, the wall outside. I'm gonna see if I can extend that a little bit to bring it away from the wall. I've got a piece in there now. Um, I had to use a full piece. My off cut didn't have the, the wrong flange on the end. I'm gonna leave that like that for now. I'm not gonna cut it yet. Um, until the other side is filled in and it's securely locked in place. Um, it looks as though I'm probably going to have to make a heat shield to go over the top to um, to, to keep the heat from those beams as well. But no bother, I'll just cut, a big, cut it out of a sheet of metal and fix it to the timber and that should draw, draw the heat away enough. Let's see how Shaman's getting on with the weeds. Crikey, not looking bad at all. Um, how are you getting on, Poppet? Oh, these are so tough to get out, these thistle things. In fact, I'm going to keep those two just as a bit of screening. Windbreak. <laughs> oh, dear, yeah. Wheelbarrow full of weeds just from this area. Crikey. Between the brassicas. If only the things you wanted to grow as grow as well as the things that you yeah. don't want to grow. Exactly. Oh. As you can see, something has been eating these brassicas um, and I must admit as I've been weeding, I'm uncovering hundreds of, well I can only describe them as like an armoured arm, caterpillar, like a silver, um, it's typical, I can't find one now to show you, but I'm guessing that's what's eating them. So now that I've cleared away the weeds, Andy's going to put some more um, diatomastic uh, Diatomaceous. Diatomaceous, I always get that wrong. Diabolical <laughs> earth. <laughs> Diabolical earth, that's what we call it. <laughs> so hopefully that will stop them from eating any more. That's exactly what I was trying to describe to you. It's just a baby, but the obviously the adult ones are much bigger. Um, there's hundreds of them. I don't know what they are. This looking much better now. We've put all the um, diatomaceous earth around them. You can see the white stuff there. They don't like it. Um, so hopefully that'll stop them from eating. The, the eating doesn't seem to have done them much harm, but we don't want to take that chance. Um, we're probably going to do our garden update a little bit earlier than the end of the month because we're supposed to be moving in. Um, so we'll, yeah, the next few days or so. When we get a day that's not too windy, um, we'll we'll give you an update on how everything's going. And it's looking pretty good actually, isn't it, Poppet? I think we're about ready for packing up now. Um, my back's broken. Andy's had real problems getting the fridge in place this morning, so we're both shattered again. So we're going to go and pick up the Finkermobile from the garage and uh, head head back home for some food. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, and you haven't already done so, please don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell to receive notifications for all our future videos, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.